the countrymen of Jesus were fuming angry at him. Why were they angry? Because Jesus said, destroy this temple. What is so special about the temple? Ganito po yun. Mayroong tatlong pinagyayabang ang bawat hudyo. Ang una ay hari. Pangalawa ay lupa. Pangatlo, templo. Every Jew is proud of these three things. The land, the temple, all of these put together by one king. King, land, temple. Why were the Jews angry when Jesus said, destroy this temple? Because at that time, the land was occupied by the Romans. Because at that time, the kingdom was divided. And therefore, they had only one reason for being proud, the temple. And our one reason for being proud, the temple, you are going to destroy. That made them very angry. In fact, during the trial of Jesus, it would be one of the cases. He said, destroy this temple. Kaso yun. Now, what is this saying to us? Before you judge the Jews, the countrymen of Jesus, for being so unreasonable, I will ask you, what do you do? when something very precious to you is removed from you? What will you do when somebody tells you about something very priceless, very dear to you, and then that person says, Sisirain ko yan, papatayin ko yan, susunugin ko yan, mawawala yan sa'yo. What do you do? And you will understand why the Jews were angry. Because the temple was very precious to them. The temple had their gold. The temple had their precious stones. The, the temple had their love. The temple had their devotion. And this will be destroyed. This precious building will be destroyed. Our pride will be destroyed. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, it is good to be reminded today that everything you love will be taken away from you. Everybody you love will be taken away from you. The Bible is clear. Spiritual literature is clear. Everything you love will be taken from you. Everything, everybody you hold dear and very precious will be removed from you. Why? There is only one answer. Why will all these things very dear to me be removed from me? Why will all these things very precious to me be removed from me? Why? For only one answer. They are not God. They are not God. And therefore, they will be removed from us. Because at the end of it all, only God will remain with us. Because when things become too special for us, and we hold on to them very tightly, or we cling to them very tightly, they actually become our gods. That is why they need to be removed. Because they become our idols. 
the temple of Jerusalem remains destroyed until now. And our own little temples, if not yet destroyed now, will soon be destroyed. Yung minamahal mong anak, yung magulang na hindi mo pwedeng hiwalayan, yung magulang na hindi mo maisip na hindi ko pwedeng mabuhay nang wala ako, wala siya. Itong trabahong ito, itong bahay at lupa na pinaghirapan ko, itong sasakyang ito na hinulugan ko at katatapos ko lang mabayaran, itong alahas na ito, itong health na ito, na inaalagaan ko, itong pangalan na ito, na inaalagaan ko, ang dami-dami nating pinanghahawakan. And I say it again, my dear brothers and sisters, if you cling too tightly, they will become idols, and that is idolatry. If you hold on too tightly, they will become your gods, more important than God with a capital G. Everything, everybody, you hold precious will be destroyed. But the beautiful thing, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. Once they have been destroyed, once they have been taken away from us, they will return to us in a new form. Wala ka ng anak na paslit. Wala ka ng anak na pinaaaral. May asawa na siya at may gulong ka ng apo sa kanya. Bumabalik siya, hindi siya nawala, pero iba na ang anyo. Nawala ang ari-arian. Nawala ang mabuting pangalan. Nawala ang kaibigan. Niloko ako ng asawa. Namatay ang nanay at tatay ko. But they come to us, they return to us in another form. And this time, they return to our lives brought back by God. And when God brings them, persons and things, back to us, they return to us differently because we now see them as less precious than God, inilalagay natin sa tamang lugar ang bagay at ang tao. My dear brothers and sisters, the temples you hold dear will soon be destroyed. Huwag magalit. Tanggapin. Totoo yan. At lahat, lahat, aalisin sa atin sapagkat hindi sila Diyos. At kapag nawala na ang lahat-lahat sa atin, iisa lang ang matitira. Mas matibay pa sa adobe. Mas matibay pa sa pinakamatibay na bundok. We will be standing on our bedrock, solid rock. It is the Lord. And now, we understand, we have not lost anything, we have not lost anyone. It is the Lord who is with us. Destroy this temple. Destroy everything precious. Destroy everybody dear. They are not gods. But keep in mind, everything will be destroyed except the Lord. And it is the Lord who will return everything destroyed and give us a new beginning, a new life, a new heaven, a new earth. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you, 
with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the Church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.